So now we're in the key of G, our G major scale. And G is our first. We're always going to go with the lowest note for the scales we can for the ones I'm doing in these exercises. We have other G's all the way up the fingerboard if I so desire. But we're going to start with this one. Remember, we had no sharps in the key of C. G is our next in our circle of fifths. And we say circle of fifths because C is the first. D, E, F, and then G is the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. So since G is next, we're going to go ahead and start off with our lowest G. We're going to have to remember the seventh note is going to remain sharp. It's not going to be used. So G, we'll, we'll count the scale first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, where we use our pinky. That's going to be called a sharp. So we would have used ring, open, middle, ring, open, middle, ring. We would have used that F, but the seventh one can't be used. It's what we call a sabbatical note. It has to rest. Like the seventh day is, is a Sabbath uh, in, in the Jewish tradition, and Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So they don't work on Saturday. They rest the Orthodox, and uh, that's called a sabbatical day where they don't do any work. Same thing with the scale, one, two, three, four, five, six. On the seventh one, you don't use it, you let it rest. So G, A, B, C, D, E, we would come to F, but we don't want to use the F. It's the seventh, it has to rest, and we use the very next one, which will be F sharp, a half step higher than the F. So G, A, and there's no H in the alphabet. We go to A next. And then B, C, D, E, and F sharp. And then our octave, so the G. And you'll notice there's no B sharp. It's a half step from B to C. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp and G, my octave. That's the G major scale that we've practiced in our primer. And if you don't know these scales, go back and learn them. You want to learn the, the way that they work mechanically before we start giving them names. So, quick review. C had no sharps. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. And we would have sharped the seventh, but Remember, B has no sharp. <laughs> so B's going right to C. So that gets off the hook. That's why C is our first in our musical alphabet. And guitar is a C instrument. We, we talked about that a little bit before in the primer, but if you look, C, D, E, F, G, A, we would have used that, but it has to be resting. It's the seventh note, so we'll go to the very next one. And that is B, because of the way the configuration of the notes work. But we don't want to use our pinky, so we've tuned the guitar down. Everything works at the fifth fret, except for that. The other strings tune to the fourth fret. The B is tuned to the fourth fret, so we're going to call a guitar a C instrument. But the fifth of the C scale, one, two, three, four, five, C, D, E, F, G, it's G. So in our next, in our circle of fifths, that would be G, A, B, C, D, E, and now F sharp. And then G is our octave, or our eighth note in the diatonic scale. Now, think of this. I said sh no sharps in the key of C. We didn't say sharp at all. They were all what we call natural notes. G was next in the circle of fifths. It was the fifth of the C scale. And now in the key of G... I have one sharp. So C has no sharps, G has one sharp. Next in my circle of fifths, one, two, three, four, five through the G major scale would be G, A, B, C, D. So D is next in my circle of fifths. And there's a little rule. Once sharped, always sharped. So remember that. Once a note is sharped, it's always going to be sharp through the circle of fifths. And my sharp was F sharp in the key of G. So now we're going to go on to the next in our circle of fifths, and it was D, if you remember. So we'll talk about that in a second.